What's up guys, it's Jay Alvarez and today I'm going to be reviewing the newest top-down release and it's the Artie Battery 101. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. Let's find out if it really works. Now behind me I have my Q QX4, it's my daily driver. I know for a fact the battery is not dead. And then in the back I have my Dodge Ram parked. It's been sitting about two weeks and a half and before I parked it, I could feel it hesitating and the lights will dim when I try to start it. So I'm pretty sure at this point the battery is dead. So let's find out if this could actually diagnose if it's the battery or the starter or the alternator. Let's find out. Okay guys, so here's the presentation. This is the case where it came in. It tells you the introductions, the instructions, what it could do the measure range the standards you guys can check them out press pause check them out i don't know if you guys want to um, top down the barcode nothing special the top down rt battery 101 battery test cranky test charging test right here it says uh tft screen but honestly i think it's a lcd backlit that's what i saw i don't know you guys could be the judge um uh, and that's it that's it for the package and for the scanner itself let's take a look at the connections pretty good firm grip when when i put them on there in person these look about eight gauge actually about 10 gauge this one looks about 8 gauge, the one that connects to the scanner, to us. but I don't know if you guys could read, let me see. I think it's more insulation than anything because right here it'll tell you, I don't know if you can see, I hope it could focus. It says 22 American wire gauge. So that's fairly thin, but it's not like we're powering an amp or anything, so... I don't know, we'll see how long this thing lasts. Here's the, the scanner itself, top down. Here are the functions. It has a standard USB connection. I wonder if that's too outdated or something. That's about it. And then in the back, let's see what it has in the back. Diagnosis scanner, made in China. And that's it. That's it for your presentation, guys. Okay, so let's connect it right here. As soon as you connect it, check it out. I don't know if you guys can see me focus. It tells you the voltage, 12.68. So now we go to OK. It's asking you for language, English. Is it out of vehicle? No, so we scroll down with these little four buttons. So we scroll down. It's in vehicle, so we press OK. Before charge or after charge. In this case, it's already charged because it's in the car. It's a daily driver, so let's press OK. Regular flooded, it gives you options in case you have gel batteries or deep cycle and all the diesel and all that stuff in here. So we're going to do regular flooded. And then we want to test the cold cranking amps because that's what counts when you want to start your engine when it's cold. You need that extra juice to start it up. It also gives you other options right here for like ATV batteries and cell gel batteries and all that stuff. So, so you guys could look at it. Okay, so we press OK. In this case, this battery is a 660 amp cold cranking and I'll show you guys right here. You look at it, it says 660 cold cranking amps. That's what the CCA stands for. So let's go back here and we press OK. And it says testing battery. Let's see what it says. It says the SOH stands for state of health, which is 86%. The SOC stands for state of charge, which is 98%. And it's at 12.68 volts, 645 amps. So that's enough to start it. And it tells you right there, good battery. So, so far, it's working. <laughs> Let's go on to the next. So now is the cold cranking test. Let's see what it does. 
to start her up. And it's testing the starter and the alternator according to the instructions. So let's see what it says. Cranking, I guess it took four, 478 milliseconds to start up. Cranking is normal. So let's see what else it does. So I'm gonna press OK right here. Charging test. Huh. Let's check it out. Let's see if the alternator is charging the battery. So I'm gonna press OK on here. See what it does. Increase revolution. So let's do it. And it says charging is normal. So that's telling me the alternator is normal. It's loaded. It's at 13.88. That's what it should be at when it's up and running once you start it up. So let's see what else is on here. That's it. Okay, that's it for that test. Let's go test another vehicle. Okay, so you can see behind me my truck has been sitting two weeks and a half, three weeks maybe. And let's see if this thing could really diagnose if it's a bad battery or the alternator. Let's see what happens. I'm curious to find out. Okay guys, here we are. Look how dusty it is. <laughs> Let's find out the cold cranking amps. You see right there, cold cranking amps, 760 and 950. So let's try the 950 because that'll be at zero degrees and this should be around 32 and 40. Let's try the 950, see what it says. Find out. You guys could see right here it's, it says it's a 12.12. .12. Okay, let's run the test, see what this does. So let's try this one before charge. Let me take this ugly thing off. There we go. Okay, so before charge, yes. Regular flooded, yes. Cold cranking amps, yes. And right here, by pressing these up or down, you change your cranking amps, and we had said. 950 right oops 915 950 so let's do it okay it's testing and this is replace I don't want to buy a new battery look state of health 12% instead of charge 23% so this battery is dead, so let's try instead of pressing before charge, let's try after charge, see what it does. Look. Okay, moment of truth. Let's do the cranking test. This is start engine. So I'm gonna start her up. See what it does. I'll show you guys what it says right now. Judge my hemi tick, guys. So there you guys have it. Um, I think it's pretty accurate. I like the slick design. All it has is that. Um, at this point, I think it's pretty accurate because I'm gonna have to replace it pretty soon. I've had this truck about five years. Um, the first year I changed the battery, so that battery has been in there four years. So I'm pretty sure it's time to change it out. So let's try another test to make sure this thing works. <laughs> So you guys can see this battery's been sitting for about six, seven months on the floor. 
The cheap deck uh, came off my sister's uh, beetle. Let's test it, see if it, see if it even has a charge. Let's see what it says. And this is 9.774 volts. So you guys could see that right there. So I'm gonna put okay. English, yes, and vehicle, no, because it's out of vehicle. Before charge, yes. Regular flooded, yes. Cold cranking amps, yes. In this case, this thing is, you guys could see right here. <clears throat> 600, right there, 600 cold cranking amps. So let's put just that. So let's go back down. To 600 come on <laughs> sorry guys this is a new device to me so okay 600 okay and then it's testing Let's see what it says it says replace look state of health zero state of charge zero it's a 9.6 volts zero amps so even though this thing has a little bit of charge to power up this little thing look at the cold cranking amps that's what counts the amps the current and has zero so it says replace so there you have it okay guys so you saw what this thing could do so what i'm going to do next is actually take out the battery from my truck charge it up i have a charger at home charge it up till it's 100 percent and then we'll run another test and see what it does see if it really says that it's the battery and i know most of you guys or a lot of you guys are gonna be like, oh did you hear that the hemi tick <laughs> <laughs> come on guys i heard it's an exhaust leak i heard it's a lifter a hydraulic lifter i haven't had issues with it i took it to lake havasu about six hour drive from here no issues so i'm not gonna worry about it until something serious like a water pump or something breaks then i'll address that issue but let's so as you guys can see this thing's been charging about six to eight hours now i put it in medium mode which is about four amps um the green light states that it's charged i got it plugged up so let's do another test after it's been charged and see what it says and then we'll run another test once it's in the truck again see if this could properly diagnose what it's supposed to so now here it is and check it out guys it's reading at 13.8 volts after the charge so let's run the test it's out of vehicle this is after charge regular cold cranking amps and if you guys remember it's 950 cold cranking amps so let's run it it still says replace even after the charge so let's go test it in the truck and it should tell us if it's the battery or the charging system or the starter let's go okay so here we are after we charge the battery, if you notice, it dropped about a, three quarters of a volt. When I first unplugged it, it was 13, now it's a 12.26. So let's run this other test. And this time it's end vehicle, after charge, regular flooded, cold cranking amps, 950. And let's start her up, let's see what it says. It says replace state of health 21% which means this battery is pretty much done it's gonna give out any minute now and uh, state of charge 75% and remember I just unplugged it and it said 100% now it's one since in the car it says 75% and it's half it's amperage check it out it's 470 amps so let's start the engine
this case it's a electronic throttle so I can't even drive it unless I put the gas charging normal so that means the alternator is producing the charging and the 14 volts it's supposed to keep the system running and the battery charged so this thing is telling me that it's not the alternator it's the battery so not bad so I'm gonna do one last test uh, to see if this thing really works. Um, I actually brought the battery to AutoZone so they could test it with their bigger scanner that I've seen they have. You guys could see. Um, let's go in. I'm gonna ask if I could type my camera in there, which I doubt it, but I'm gonna ask, see what they say, and then I'll come back and get you guys, all right? <laughs> All right, guys, I just got back from AutoZone and I'll post those pictures right now so you guys can see the results. Um, they got the same results. So um, there's one more thing I want you guys to see and uh, this will conclude this review. So here's the battery, it's connected. I want you guys to see the settings for the language. It has different languages. Espanol right there. I don't know what that is. So I'm going to put English. Out of vehicle, after charge. I want to see how, uh, how low it could go on the amps. To see if you guys could test different batteries like uh, cold cranking ATV and lawnmower and all those little batteries, marine batteries. So let's see how low it goes. Down to 100 cold cranking amps. Now let's go up. Let's see. 2000 that's it max so there you have it guys this is the top down RT battery 101 so that was my review for this brand new top down RT battery I hope you guys liked it I like it so far um, it's good if you're like a mobile mechanic, your own car, or uh, you're a mechanic in general, or a do-it-yourselfer. I think it'll work for everyone. Um, the reason why I bought it was because I have five vehicles. I have two vehicles that are mine. I got my mom's I work on and my two sister's vehicles. So I always got to have scanners to find out and diagnose what's going on. Um, I think it's a good, good little product so far. I would give it... Uh, from a zero to ten, a ten so far, because I've never seen a little scanner like that, and I wouldn't spend X amount for a big scanner. You know, um, I think it's a good handy tool to have around the house. And uh, you guys, give it a like, a thumbs up, uh, share it with everyone who you think this video will help them. And um, if you have comments or questions, leave them down below, and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. Have a good day, guys.